Creating a hash sharded table. Hotspots are a term we use for a workload that doesn't scale out when you add nodes. A major cause of hotspots, and the one that we'll focus on in this lesson, is monotonically increasing index keys, particularly primary keys. In this lesson, you will learn how most hotspots occur in CockroachDB, how hash sharded primary keys work, and how to create a table with a hash sharded primary index. How most hotspots occur. Most hotspots form when a primary or secondary index key increases monotonically, that is, every new value is larger than the last one. In this case, the entire insert load will be concentrated onto a single node and prevent your inserts from scaling out. This would happen, for example, when the first column of the primary key is a timestamp. The best way to fix this is to pick a composite primary key prefixed by something that isn't always increasing on insert, like a username. But when that's not easy to do, a simpler fix is to create a hash sharded index. This is currently an experimental feature in CockroachDB, so the implementation may be subject to change at a later time. How hash sharded indexes work. What CockroachDB does under the hood for a hash sharded index is it creates a computed column to hold the hash. And it uses that hash value as the first column of the primary index of your table. That way, the next insert goes to a pseudo-random node instead of the same node as the last insert. We call each hash value a bucket because each insert will go into one of the buckets. This has the advantage of eliminating the hotspot on insert, and you can still efficiently query with your primary key, with only a minor loss of efficiency for some types of queries. When creating a hash sharded index, you'll need to specify a bucket count that your index will be hashed to. This should match the number of nodes in your cluster. How to hash shard an index. Because hash sharded indexes are an experimental feature, you'll need to start by turning on the relevant session variable, experimental enable hash sharded indexes. If you choose a number of buckets larger than your number of nodes, some queries will be somewhat less efficient for certain reads, specifically queries that use the index to scan a range of values or to sort, because any node that stores two or more buckets won't store them together on disk, and you'll have to scan them separately. On the other hand, if you have fewer buckets than nodes, your table will only be distributed across a subset of your nodes, rather than getting distributed across your full cluster. Let's create a table with a hash sharded primary key. Once you've done so, you can see the bucket count with the show create table statement. You can also see that there's a column listed in the table that you didn't create. This one that starts with CRDB internal and ends with your number of buckets. That's the computed column that holds the hash value. You can see it if you explicitly ask for it in a query. Let's review. In this lesson, we covered how monotonically increasing primary keys, such as timestamps, can cause hotspots on insert. The best practice, remember, is to avoid this type of field in the first column of the index. And when that isn't possible, you've seen how to hash shard your primary key. And that's how to hash shard your table in CockroachDB.